Hey guys, it's Michelle Green, and this video is going to be about the 211 keyboard error. If you've ever gotten that screen on the startup, uh, you'll hear a little beep and you'll see something about a 211 keyboard error. Um, this video is going to help you. Okay, now there's actually several different kinds from what I've read. Um, and there's the kind where it, it'll ask you to press F1 to continue, and you nothing happens when you press the F1 key. Um, that wasn't the case for me, so if you if you have that error, this may or may not work for you, but I do recommend you try this method first, because the other method that I saw that fixes that particular error, uh, it doesn't really fix it. It just kind of gets you beyond that screen and allows you to log onto your computer, but every time you go to start your computer, you have to do that same fix. It doesn't really fix the issue, so I, I recommend you try my method first, which is really, really simple. I actually went to, through great lengths to try to find a solution for my problem before finding the one that worked, which was extremely simple. So what happened to me was I was having problems logging onto my computer. I pressed the power button and um, nothing would happen and it was just being really finicky and then, you know, all of a sudden I, it would randomly come on. So when I finally got it on, I decided to do a system restore just to make sure that nothing was going on with it. And when I did that system restore, um, I got a keyboard 211 error. And it asked me to press F1. And I did, and it worked for me. It did get me beyond that screen. But once I was logged on, the keyboard didn't work. No, no letters, no characters, no nothing. So I I did some research to try and see you know how to fix the issue and some of the things I saw was to download registry software, run a scan and you know do whatever the fix was, uh, and and that didn't work. So uh, I also tried updating my drivers, and that didn't work either. So at that point I decided to do a, another system restore to a further point. It didn't work, and so my last resort, um, at that moment anyway, was to just go ahead and reformat my whole computer. Um, so I pretty much I did that, wiped out everything. Uh, luckily, I used Google Drive and Dropbox for all the files that are important, so I didn't really lose anything of great value, um, other than the inconvenience of reinstalling all my software. And, you know, as an internet marketer, I do use a lot of software, quite a bit of it, so it, it is sort of a hassle to have to do that, especially when you don't have to. And in my case, I didn't have to, but uh, that was after the fact. So uh, I was, at this point, I was going to give up. I said, you know, if a, if uh, if a reformatting it didn't fix it, um, I don't think anything would. That was that was what I thought about it at the time, and so I said I'll reformat it. If it doesn't fix it, that means it's time for a new computer. So uh, I reformatted it. It didn't work. Actually, when I when it started up, um, when when I immediately got done reformatting it, it didn't work. Nothing happened. Still, uh, the keyboard still didn't work, but once it started updating drivers and things, um, it would it would allow me to type the letters. But when I started pressing the numbers, uh, it would it would the whole keyboard would go out again. This happened a couple times while the computer was I guess updating off of the reformatting. So um, basically, it was still broke. All right. So I decided that at this point I was going to give up. And I wasn't going to, was it was just time for a new computer. So uh, a day later, I decided, you know what, because I'm not, you know, I'm the kind of person who I'm, I'm not a quitter. And um, I, I just, I, I'm going to try, 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 try. And so I said, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this another shot. So I went online, looked around, and I found another, um, another option. And I said, oh, so I tried it, and I'm going to tell you what that is. And it actually worked. So here's what I did. Take the battery off of your laptop. And I went ahead and took out the power cord and the USB for my mouse, my wireless mouse, just in case. Okay, I just took everything out of the computer. 
um, as well as the battery. And they said to do it for one hour. I just went ahead and unplugged it at night and left it that way overnight. When I woke up this morning, I put everything back together, and it worked. That that was a simple solution. So, uh, if you guys ever have the keyboard error 211 um, keyboard error, just unplug the battery and uh, let it sit for anywhere from an hour to or more and plug it in and see if that fixes it before you go to the extreme to reformatting your computer and losing all your all your stuff so that was the solution for me guys um, if you're having this issue and it works for you let me know leave me a comment uh, if it doesn't work for you if something else does uh, share it with people because um, from what I'm seeing there's all different kinds of varieties of keyboard errors and the fix may be different for all of those so go ahead and share that with everybody in the comment section. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.